Hey y'all, so today I'll be installing this glueless wig brought to you by Love Me Hair. Y'all, this hair was so good to work with. Like y'all, you would think that I curled it, but y'all know I don't know how to curl. It came later, it came curled, it came everything basically. Like, do y'all see this? The hair was so bouncy and soft. Like, I actually love working with this hair. Like y'all, y'all don't understand. Like, y'all know I don't play around with my hair. And when I say this was the best install I ever did, it was literally the best. So in the packaging, it came with a thank you card. Thank can you and y'all when i say fresh out the box this was fresh out the box i told y'all i didn't do nothing it came with a bag to hold all your goodies which came with a bonnet a scarf and also and a wig cap so i tried the unit on because it did say that it was a glueless and y'all it looks so seamless and to prove to y'all it's not glued on look and what i do put it right back on because i have to show y'all like yes this is straight out the box no glue no nothing this is a good go-to wig so now we're about to begin my step-by-step -step tutorial on how to achieve a flawless install at home so first you want to start with your glue i use the almighty bond glue and i feel like this is the best glue to use because it's very strong and it has two applicators on it so all you're doing is making dots around and to smooth it in i use the back of a tweezer from doing lashes and i find that this is just the easiest thing to like use but at the same time you can use anything that has a flat surface to smooth in and I also like it because you also can clean up using the tweezer size you know the part that you use your lashes so like me I can use that to clean it up so now that you have a nice smooth layer you can go ahead and apply your makeup you can use liquid or powder doesn't really matter but you want to dab it around but you don't have to put it everywhere but if you plan on styling it like doing different parts or styles you want to make sure you get the full lace so that everything look natural so now you take the band and put the wig on i applied the clips but you don't really have to do this because that's only necessary for the glueless way but now i pull down the lace and you want to put the lace right on top of the glue because it like i said it's already pre-cut so you just have to put it down on it and i like to use my fingers every time to press the lace into where i like it and then i took a comb and comb it in and this so that you can get the flattest melt like y'all see it it's literally melting into my skin no makeup no nothing then i like to press it in one more time and take my blow dryer and blow dry it in this is so that the glue can dry with the lace because you don't want to put your band directly on it because the band can push the wig back so by doing this you're allowing your glue to dry and your lace to be laid where you want it and it'll be flat and a nice install so then i took a hot comb and hot comb the hair back because like i said we want a flat and nice install so by doing this this is pushing all the hair back and so that it won't be caught in the glue now you apply your band and i like to fold it in half just because i want the band to be only on the lace and not on my whole forehead so you just put the band on and it should look like this y'all see it like yes real professional it girl so yeah you just let that dry for like one hour or so it doesn't really matter i did like 45 30 minutes and then you're gonna take a wide tube comb you want to use a wide tube because if you use anything smaller it's going to mess up your curls and make them less defined and more frizzy so yeah i'm just brushing out my curls and for the front i like to brush them back because eventually i'm going to pull it forward but do y'all see this this hair is layered so good and so i don't really have to do too much like it's honestly already curled like this is the part where you would usually style your hair but for me i don't have to do that so i'm just brushing it through and yeah <music> Now I like to use my hot comb. I got this from my beauty supply and you just hop comb in it down. At first I start with nothing, but as I progress, you'll see I like to add more product, but I'm just hot combing it using the parting space and everything like how it is laid. I did not change the part or nothing. So it was really easy to just hot comb it. So then I used the Sebastian hairspray, which is normally used for curls, but I use it to hot comb my hair down because it's like a soft hold because using the wax stick all over the top, it makes it real hard to change your hairstyle. So for me, I like to go in with this and it gets the hair super flat and everything. So you don't have to worry about no hard cast. So then I use the She's Balm wax melt and yeah, you just push it at the bottom and then I only apply it to where my parting space is because like i said i don't like a hard cast so yeah you just put it on and then hot comb in and yeah that's basically what you do
So now that I'm finished hot combing, it should look like this. Y'all see it is real shiny, real clean, real flat. And I didn't even have to do section by section to get it this flat. So as you see, I melted the freaking band to my freaking forehead. And that mud was stuck, like, really, like, melted. So all you got to do to fix this is to get some alcohol and just take a towel and go across it. I did not show this part because I needed to go to the restroom to see it. But that's exactly what I did. So now we're going to do the edges for the side part edge all you have to do is like a c motion because you just go with the part in which is already there so yeah you pull that out and then after you're gonna go in hot comment so it could be real flat you know we want good edges and then you're gonna take your scissors and you see how i'm holding it that's how you're gonna cut in the diagonal because you want it to go from short to long so yeah you cut that and then after you're gonna go in with a mini flat iron and curl up. You can curl down, but I choose to curl up. But then you're gonna go in with your mousse. And I like to use this mousse because it doesn't have no type of water in it. So it wouldn't cost the lace to um, live no matter how much you know mousse you choose to use. But you do that and then after you go in with your got to be, I like to use this on top because it's like a nice good gel. Just like how you do your natural hair. You do your moisturizer and all that stuff first and then you wanna go in with a gel to silly so yeah i just applied that and yeah that's how my edges came out real clean real cute my light ended up dying i don't know if y'all caught that but i took y'all to the restroom and look it's giving scapiana like do y'all see my lace like i'm pointing to it do y'all see it no but this is the unit like it was so bomb i love working with it y'all see it like i didn't do none of this i didn't style it or nothing all i had to do was add some edges and glue it down so this wig was 28 inches as you can see make sure y'all check out the description box and also use my code chanel to get 28% off but like y'all look at the layers they was pre-cut and everything and y'all this is the final look I really hope y'all enjoyed the video because I did like this was one of the best freaking hair units I ever worked with love me definitely put they all into this but this is in the video hope you like comment subscribe and to the end bye y'all